Today we are told we must be tolerant, that we must not judge. Tolerance is held up as being one of the higher virtues. However, we do not tolerate things we like. We only need to tolerate things we do not like. In fact, it's absurd to say you tolerate ice cream if everyone knows you love ice cream. But the tolerance we are told to embrace and use is not tolerant, because we are not asked to put up with things we dislike. No, we are instead told that tolerance means we must love and embrace the very things that we dislike. It is the complete opposite of tolerance. If we were really being asked to be tolerant, we would put up with things that we dislike or disapprove of to put aside our personal feelings for the greater good. And while this is going on and we are told that we must be tolerant, views which do not match this vision are not tolerated. They are condemned, banned, and in some cases even made illegal, all in the name of tolerance. Intolerance is used to enforce tolerance. So tolerance today really means submission. Submit and think as you are told, not as you believe. There is no room for you to do your own thinking, as all of that can and will be done for you. All you need to do is submit. When in your job interview for a government job or at the bank or school, you tell them you don't agree with their vision of tolerance, it won't take long before you see their intolerance. Until you submit, there can be no tolerance. However, if that is the new definition of tolerance, that I must love the things I hate, what happens when I refuse to submit? Well, at first, they try to excommunicate you from their group. Then they try to use the law to make you submit. But will that really work? Will you really submit? It seems many people submit on the surface, but not in reality. They still hold to their own opinions. Some do not even go that far. They are willing, even wanting, to be excommunicated. They do not want to be part of any consensus. And once you have rejected their idea that you must submit, you find that you are intolerant of their version of tolerance, that you cannot put up with things that you once might have done. If, for example, saying that criticism of immigration is regarded as racist, even mild criticism, then why be mild? Why not go the whole hog and be extreme, and in this case, say, no immigration? In the future, this will increasingly be how it is. For better or worse, the middle ground will be lost. People will increasingly move to extreme positions. Tolerance is dying because it has been corrupted, because like so much in the modern world, it has become meaningless.